trading talents is a, I'd call it a creative enterprise and godly risk taking. It's based on Jesus's parable of the talents that he tells in Matthew 25, where a man goes on a journey and he entrusts his property to three of his servants. To one he gives five talents, to another two, and to another one. And the first two servants double those talents, where the third servant buries his talent in the ground. And of course, it is the first two servants, the ones that took a risk, that earned their master's approval. Basically, what we tried to do was to replicate this parable with uh, our diocesan youth ministries. And so what we did was we gave $20,000 to 10 youth ministries. Um, and the idea was that we wanted to entrust these ministries with talents of their own and ask them to take some risks in order to have the biggest missional impact possible. And so the idea was, here's $2,000, but we want you to get out there as a community and to trade these talents uh, in the context of the community and to make an impact bigger than that which you were given. Our event was called Burgers and Bluegrass, and this is the second year we've done an event like this. What, what made it so special and different was it involved not just adults of the congregation, but it involved the youth, and not just EYC-aged youth, it involved students as young as age six, and all the way up to you know, students as old as you know, 80. It brought um, young children to be a part of it because their time and talents was baking cakes that we had a cake auction for. And we were able to raise over $2,000 through the cake auction. The diocesan grant gave us the ability to hire a band to play for our event that had a little more notoriety and a little more recognition. If it wasn't for the diocese and this Trading Talents Project, our event I don't think wouldn't have been as, as, as good or our reach wouldn't be as far. We've done concerts at our church before, but it's typically like we've, we've done bluegrass concerts, gospel concerts, and so the whole rock concert was kind of out there. It was just different. We've had, you know, every year we do an annual barbecue, and so we bring a lot of people on our campus, which is pretty similar to what we were trying to go for, but we've never had a concert that was geared more towards younger people, and that's, that's really what we were trying to do, was get a higher awareness towards the younger group of people because you know it's easy when you're a teenager to just kind of be absorbed in your own life and and not realize the need but our kids really saw that need in our community and they wanted other kids their age to be able to see that too we wanted to raise the awareness of the homeless population because we have two different organizations in our community who help um, people who are just in need and so what we wanted to do was be able to meet an immediate need once a month, our goal is to make 100 bags or more a month, and all the parishioners and anyone else who may come in, they're welcome to take the bags, keep them in their car, so when they're driving down the street and they see someone on the side of the road who may need something, they just have something immediately that they can stick out the window and give to them. We thought, let's start off small. If we start off small, we can do something, and maybe it'll turn into something really, really big. So I would say that even if you think that what you're doing is small, you're making a difference in your community. You may be making a difference to one person, and that's a really big deal, because when someone sees you going out of your way to even do something small for one other person, that makes a huge impact, and that person may do something, and then someone will see them, and then another person will do something. And so even when you think something's really, really small, that really, really small thing is something that God put upon your heart to do, and so it's what God calls us to do. So even something small can turn into something really big. It was, it was a huge blessing for us. We were very, very grateful. So we are very thankful to the diocese and to council for coming up with this project and allowing us to use it and make a difference in our community. So thank you very much.